Originals, how non-conformists move the world. Because we're all individuals. You've got to think for yourself. You're all individuals. You're all different. Yes, we are all different. I'm not. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. This is my book review of Originals by Adam Grant. I've read 12 books already in 2016. My goal for this year is to read at least 50 and Originals is by far the best one I've read so far this year. Originals is all about how to champion good ideas and fight the dreaded groupthink. And it's absolutely packed full of stories and case studies from across different fields, business, sport, politics and entertainment. The author, Adam Grant, is a professor at the University of Pennsylvania. He's one of the youngest professors there and consistently rated as one of the best. This book came out in February this year and it's his second book after Give and Take, which was published in 2014. Now, as an author, I know how difficult the second book can be. In the music business, it's called the difficult second album syndrome. But Grant absolutely nails it with originals. I read this one on my Kindle, and as I was reading, I highlighted a whole load of different passages, starting with Grant's definition of an original. A thing of singular or unique character. A person who is different from other people in an appealing or interesting way. A person of fresh initiative or inventive capacity. Now I'm sure that we all want to be interesting and appealing because of our originality and this book really helps us understand how we can manage that. What I really loved about this book is how Grant managed to debunk some of the myths about originality. We often think of original people as massive risk takers but Grant says that these are not the sort of daredevils who leap before they look. They do of course accept some risk in what they do but most prefer to have a balanced risk portfolio. They tend to secure the income they need and then take greater risks in other areas of their life because they're able to. He also looks at the myth that all originals are geniuses. Geniuses? Genii? Genii? And one of the studies that he references in the book found that creative geniuses are not qualitatively better than their peers in most cases. They simply produced a greater volume of work. As a result, this gave them more variation and a greater opportunity for originality. And as filmmaker and YouTuber Casey Neistat says, and in fact has tattooed on his arm, do more. Grant gives the examples in his book of some famous composers. There's Mozart, who composed 600 original pieces of music, before he died at 35 years old. Beethoven produced 650 pieces of music during his lifetime and back over a thousand. If you want to be an original, you have to do more. And another great concept from a book is the need to expose yourself to creative influences in life. Grant said that people who started businesses and contributed to patent applications were more likely to have creative hobbies. Drawing, painting, architecture, sculpture, literature. And he says that interest in the arts amongst entrepreneurs and eminent scientists reflects that curiosity about creativity. I particularly loved one of the pieces of research that Grant cited in the book which found that professors at top universities were rated as more competent uh, when they had a beard and when they wore a t-shirt than when they were clean shaven and in a suit and tie. In fact, they were rated as 14% more competent. This is a fantastic concept from social psychology known as idiosyncrasy credit. Grant says that you don't need to be first to be an original. In fact, most originals are late to the party. He says that great originals are great procrastinators, but they don't skip their planning altogether. What they do instead is strategic procrastination. I wish I knew how to do that. So being an original doesn't mean that you need to be first, it just means you need to be different and better. If you've read originals, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. In fact, let me know which books you've read in 2016 and which ones you recommend. I'm always on the lookout for new reading ideas. I'll put a link in the description below to Originals on Amazon. Do go and check it out. I'll also link on the description to my boards on Pinterest where I keep a note of all of the books I've read. and I've created a book reading board for every year since 2012. So hopefully you'll get some inspiration from there. Until next time, thank you for checking out my video. And remember, when it comes to your money, the more you know, the faster it can grow.